Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about how US education system is different than Indian education system. I did my bachelor's degree in Sir M. Vishweshwarya Institute of Technology in Bangalore and currently I'm doing my master's in University of Texas Arlington. I'm going to share my opinion based on the experiences that I've had in these two universities. Uh, it may not be same for all the other Indian universities and all the other US universities but it is going to be more or less the same. So the first point that I want to talk about is how the semesters are divided. So here uh, so here we have three semesters that is going to be fall semester which starts from August, spring semester which usually starts from uh, Jan end or February and then we have summer semester. In India we have only two semesters, one which starts from August and the other one which starts from February. So here in the US, summer semester is not compulsory, it is your wish. If you want to take courses in summer, you can take. If you don't want to take, then you can uh, drop it. And even the fall semester and spring semester, it is not mandatory that you have to have a continuous four years of education for undergrad. In case if you have any problem or if you get an internship and if you're continuing to work in some other place, you can uh, you can drop that semester and, and you can continue your education later but in India you cannot do that uh, also in India for every semester we have a fixed number of courses and fixed courses that you have to take but here it's not like that it is your wish you can choose whichever subjects you want but the uh, but you have to take courses which will come under your curriculum as in if you are a computer science student you have to take some mandatory courses but you can choose whichever uh, courses you want so here for the same subject there will be multiple professors teaching and you can choose whichever professor class you want to take and also you have to take a minimum of three subjects for master students but I'm not sure about the undergrad but I think they have to take minimum of five or six in India we do not have an option you have to take six subjects so uh, let's talk about the time duration of classes in US and uh, in India. In India we have classes from 9 to 5 but in US it's, it's not like that. You can have courses in the morning, you can have courses in the night. It really depends upon the professor and the uh, duration which he has he or she has chosen and uh, uh, so it's not like you are going to have a continuous class from 9 to 5. There is no fixed time in the US because if some professors are adjunct professors they usually take classes after their work that will be in the evening so uh, some uh, I had classes from 7 to 10 in the night sometimes and I had also classes in the morning from 9 to 10 so in India if you have any doubts and if you want to meet a professor it is really difficult because we do not know their schedule and there is no fixed time for them during which you can go and meet them but here professors have office hours it is mandatory for them to have and during those office hours they will be seated in their uh, uh, office so you can go and visit them you can ask them doubt you can chat with them via email or other platforms uh, but in India it was quite difficult for me because I never knew the schedule of my professor so whenever I went uh, he, uh, they were not there so I had to wait for them sometimes so yeah uh, uh, along with professors we also have teaching assistants teaching assistants usually grade are quizzes usually grade our exams our assignments they also help in labs and help in uh, clearing our doubts and teaching assistants also have office hours you can always go to them and talk to them and clear your doubts so usually teaching assistants are students who have already taken that course for example uh, i got an opportunity to become teaching assistant for data structures and algorithms in my second semester because i took data structures and algorithms in my first semester and i did well so in case if there is any uh, positions opened and if you've done well in your coursework and if your professors approve you can become teaching assistant so teaching assistant position is like a part-time position you will be paid for it and you will also get a scholarship that is uh, if you're an international student you will be basically paying more than the US citizens here so if you get this opportunity then you will be paying the same fees as the US citizens now, now talking about attendance here 
attendance really depends upon the professor some professors give credits for that credits as in they will keep 10% of the total grade for attendance or some may not keep it really depends upon professor so, so for some reason if you were not able to attend class you will still be able to watch the videos because they record it but in India it's not like that we have to have a certain percentage of attendance in order to sit for the exams so uh, in India the marks division will be based on your internal exams and external exams so basically 25% of the internal exams and 75% of the external exams will be considered and uh, Indian exams are more stressful because you have to study everything for the final exam in India your final score will mainly depend upon the final exam and uh, if you have not done well in your final exam then you then you will get a very bad score also uh, the professors do not have the opportunity to set the grades here the professors are flexible to set the grades however they want they can give more uh, percentage of grades for exams or, or they can give more percentage for projects or assignments or attendance so it really uh, depends upon the professors here and the professors have the flexibility to adjust the grades but in India uh, we have 25% of internals and 75% of external score for all the subjects and for all the semesters so professors really do not have an upper hand on that so uh, so we have a website called canvas and in this website we can see all the courses that we have taken and all the discussions that happen with respect to that subject and if the professor has done any recording related to that they will up upload in the same website itself you will be able to see the grades for your assignments grades for your final exams and uh, the assignment description the assignment submission deadline where you have to submit everything will be pro uh, will be there in this website itself and in india when the professor enters into the classroom we usually get up and greet them but here it is not mandatory uh, professors and students talk very casually and there, there is no uh, barrier between the professor and the student you can talk to them as freely as you are talking to your own friend uh, although you have to uh, talk to them with respect but it is not mandatory that you have to call them sir or ma'am uh, you can uh, address them as professor or doctor hegde doctor uh, followed by their last name uh, in india if the college has to provide any important uh, notification to all the students they usually put it on the notice board where you have to go there and check on the board but here here all the students get notifications via email which is much easier we also have graduate advisors here who can guide you on your coursework on which classes you need to take in order to finish this course or uh, any problem that you have with your uh, coursework they will be able to help you they also have office hours and you can go and meet them during those office hours so the facilities which are generally provided by the universities here are uh, library we also have library in india but i feel the library here is more equipped because we, we can borrow even laptops but indian libraries i mean indian universities usually allow you to borrow only books here they also provide gym grounds for indoor sports for outdoor sports uh, swimming and everything but usually all the universities in india do not provide that at least my university did not did not provide these facilities so these are the things that i found uh, very different from the indian universities and uh, there might be other uh, differences as well but these are the uh, things that i could think of and definitely i find u.s education to be uh, better than the indian education and that's why i'm here but i'm not degrading that india does not provide a good education i just want indian universities uh, to provide these kind of facilities as well so then the indian students can make use of these opportunities so that's it for today's video thank you for watching See you again.